Hello and welcome to another update video about QNT. So QNT, we are still watching if the price can give us a five wave move to the upside. At the moment, I can tell you I haven't got a clear five wave move up yet. We have three waves up and we also have a nice three wave move down at the moment into support as it seems. Okay, so we have literally only just now reached the ideal, not even, um, reached the ideal target for wave four. Um, for wave four, typically, as you know, when you if you watch these videos regularly, then you know that an ideal target for a fourth wave is typically the 38.2 retracement level that's here at $99.90, so basically the $100 mark. Um, it bounced off the $100 level and it's in the support box, so there's nothing to worry about at this stage. And even if you know, you, you know that we talked about really, we can only really talk about um, a confirmed uptrend as soon as we have five waves up and three waves down. Now, the thing in crypto is sometimes they just extend higher. You need to be aware of that. Um, you know, that's why I typically recommend when you want to trade a certain coin, have a core position and then you can always um, trade around it. You know, when we get a deep pullback, you can always add two positions. But the thing is, what, what would happen if this thing just goes and goes to $150 straight away without a wave two pullback, which can happen, okay? So like Solana, it just keeps going. Um, that's always possible. And therefore I always say, you know, you can always chase. If you chase, just know where the stop level is and don't risk too much. You can always have a core position um, that you trade around or you simply just wait for the for the setups. I mean, currently it is in a, in a wave four pullback. Um, I find Bitcoin Ethereum more reliable to trade, but you know if you like to trade QNT, it's now in a in a support area. Can I guarantee the support holds? No, because it's still very fragile, and we haven't really got any um, any stable structure down there. Okay, so we need the five wave move up and the three wave move down. That's the bottoming structure we are watching watching for, really. Um, yeah, what else to mention? So what we need to see is that it's holding support, doesn't break below $96.90 because that's the 50% retracement. If a fourth wave below that level is basically too deep, can always turn into a diagonal, but that's unreliable. So to keep it as an impulse, yeah, turn around shortly, okay? And then fifth wave, possible resistance around the $120 mark would be ideal then to get a wave to pullback. Now, the thing is in altcoins, as it is the case in commodities, a fifth wave often extends, you know, especially when it's bullish. So the third wave extends anyway in crypto. That's basically a given. The fifth wave commonly uh, extends as well. The wave one is typically quite short. That's how crypto works. Yeah. So you get your small wave one, small wave two, nobody takes notice. The third wave is huge. People start to FOMO in and then there's a small pullback and people buy, buy, buy FOMO. And it drives the fifth wave extension higher as well. But um, that, you know, that's not predictable. You can basically expect it. You have to expect it. And that's why I typically just track the 50% retracement level and highlight that as support. Similar to the Solana chart where I said, look, you know, we it should really pull back. But as long as we're holding that level, the focus has to be on higher because the uptrend isn't broken. Similar story here. Uh, but this hasn't really moved yet. Only a little bit. Okay. Um, okay. You say a little bit. It has moved significantly. But... <laughs> For crypto, it's not much, okay? It's just normal. Um, but, you know, not enough to confirm a low is in place. So it could, you know, if the projections are correct, you know, if we zoom out a little bit, um, essentially, if, if this really is a third wave rally, you know, then it should take a certainly above the $226 level, but obviously higher eventually. So there's a lot of um, movement to the upside that should still happen but first of all we need to deal with the question okay have we actually bottomed or not to confirm that from an analysis point of view we need to see five waves up and three waves down in the moment there's no problem you know the chart is just pulling back consolidating in a way four like bitcoin is doing it ether is doing it so nothing to worry about at this stage but below 96 dollars uh, or below $96.90, if we get a sustained break below that level, we might have to start to assume that the uptrend is failing, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, it's not even an established uptrend. Not, you know, it's just sort of trying it, to trying to establish it. Okay, that's my update about q and I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.